Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to a very exciting episode of CSK News. As always, thank you all for leaving comments down below. Thank you all for almost breaking 79,000 subscribers. I do appreciate that, guys. Let's hop into our first story, though. And for all of you guys who are here for roster change news, that'll be in the back half of today's episode. Let's talk about more important news for all you G2 and French fans out there as Shox has announced his injury with his wrist and updates from the specialist he went to last week. If you guys did not see the updates about that, he had a two centimeter cyst inside of his wrist, which is really gross the way they described it, kind of, you know, in between two tendons. So a very important part of course his wrist is used quite often guys he has also announced his surgery has now been scheduled for March and up until then he should be playing for the team throughout ESL Pro League throughout other tournaments as well and if he does uh, if he isn't able not to play as well they'll have their coach Smith return to CSGO on top of that though guys during his departure it's going to be two weeks before his surgery as well as probably several weeks after his surgery he'll be gone from the team so probably looking at a month and a half or so of time where he'll be away from the team itself it will be their coach of course you guys remember Smith himself he'll be stepping back in for G2 in that roster. No roster changes coming for Shocks, no substitutes coming in, no Kiyoshima, no XMS, no, you know, nobody gonna sub in for this guy. It will be Shocks himself playing up until March, and then until then, guys, Smiths will replace him. And let's not forget the iconic moment of Smiths uh, at our last major, actually a couple majors ago, before he was actually moved to the coaching role, uh, before the French shuffle. I will never forget the clip. But the thing is, there's two CTs on both sides. Smiths with the auto sniper, trying to get those shots. Spamming across, but still no contact. Oh my god, the flash actually helps. Wow, just super coordinated. Looking to do some damage. Oh, oh my god. Yoli noob! Yo. <laughs> And this video actually is brought to us by CS Money. My code is down below if you guys want to trade and upgrade your skins very fast. Here is a last shout out for them guys for a long time. So thank you all for watching and uh, here's that clip right now. Oh and also guys, a brief intermission. Thank you to all of you guys who have been using my CS Money code. Today is the last sponsored video by them. So link is down below. Thank you all for using them. A great trading website. Really do recommend it. If you guys want to trade your skins away very fast, CS Money link down below. But anyway, back to... Uh, other Jake. And also some small French changes coming to the scene. We did have existence kicked from the LDLC roster out of nowhere. I do feel bad for the guy. He also made sure to note though he's still looking for offers out there. He's definitely not the guy that you would have thought to be kicked from the LDLC roster. As of right now, they are inspecting options out there. It does seem XMS, who of course left Envious. I'll talk about that in a second here. He's one of their leading options right now. Nell, the French leaker out there, is going to be uh, updating us on those decisions in the future, guys. So LDLC have gotten rid of existence, and XMS is the lead guy to probably replace him on that roster. On top of that, guys we do have some big changes coming for Envious it's about time Sixer has been put to the bench and he'll be replaced by an academy member and that academy member will be Haji and he'll replace him for the main a primary opera it does seem scream though might be primary opting as well as he took to Twitter I wasn't sure if that was a joke and you guys might rip on me for that but apparently Envious has now replaced Sixer with their academy member known as Haji so a great improvement there I think personally and it's kind of weird to see this during this even this huge time of changes we've seen a lot of academy members and of course teams finally utilizing those academy spots uh, we had North of course, they added merch from their academy team, and now we have Envious adding Haji to theirs. So some great improvements. Hopefully it works out for them, and we're going to see how good Haji goes and how he does in the top tier scene. And finally, in huge news, I'm going to share some small stories after this, guys. I want to do in breaking news, though, Optic Gaming have done the impossible. Over the past year or so, we popularized leaks in CSGO. No team has been able to make any kind of changes out there without it being leaks first. Especially this, though, Optic Gaming making history with an entire new CSGO roster change with zero leaks out there. No one saw this coming. And and of course, over the past 48 hours, I've been very excited for this, and you guys have known that as well. I hope you guys all enjoy the brand new Optic Gaming roster on screen for all of you. Five brand new members, guys, as Alu, Freiburg, HS, Everyone, Mixwell, Magisk are all off the roster, and five new players with some ties to each other in the past. Of course, we have Cajun B alongside Config. They played for North formally together. They also have a North Academy member. His name is Gade. He's really the surprise factor in this entire team, guys. I don't know why they actually chose Gade himself. Maybe Cajun B or Config had some input on this character. Of course, if you guys remember when Kirby joined in place of Config on North a couple days ago, when Config first left the roster, it was speculated that Gay would actually replace him instead. It does seem he's going to Optic Gaming, though, in place, of course, instead of that. So on top of that, of course, we have some North American players on the roster. It will be the return of former Optic members back in the 2016 days when Optic Gaming was actually a North American team. We have Opera Shazam, and alongside him, IGL Stanislaw, rejoining the North American scene in shocking 
breaking news, guys. I think everyone had forgot that Stanislaw was kicked off Liquid a while ago and he was still a free agent heading into this season of ESL Pro League. This is a very shocking roster, but do not get me wrong. I'm not too confident about these guys, at least on paper so far. Of course, a mix of personalities. This will be a Danish majority and still a European team, but the road that Optic has taken these past two years is insane to see and always trust the process. We're going to see what happens, guys, in upcoming ESL Pro League season. I have some doubts, of course, of their fifth member, Gade. He has yet to prove himself probably in top tier CSGO. I think that's probably most people's worries. All alongside that, though, only half the team has really played together in the past, that being Cajun B and Config, and of course, Shazam and Stanislaw. We're going to see what happens, though. And again, we're not really too sure. I haven't looked into it as of right now, guys, as to what roles the players will take. Will it be Cajun B or Shazam to take the primary opping role? Who will take secondary? We have yet to find out who's going to be the IGL, although you can probably assume Stanislaw would retake that position as well. A very interesting roster, guys. A big blend here, and Optic Gaming have actually entirely changed their entire CSGO roster without anyone knowing. I'm very hyped for it, guys. And again, we'll probably have more roster changes coming tonight as well. I'll touch on that in tomorrow's episode because as, as, the, as this entire roster has changed, we do still have great players out there like Mixwell, like HS, like Alu, like Freiburg. So many free agents still un, uh, unannounced as to who team, what team is going to actually take them in. So yes, guys, that was a huge news. Optic replaced their entire CSGO roster. Comment down below what do you guys think about this. I'm in shock right now as, as to how this happened. And also on top of that, one last note, guys, they will retain their coach, I'm a Pet. It was actually revealed to us in AMA by Optic yesterday, that, uh, by Optic J, that he would have the option to actually leave the team itself. It does seem that the former CLG coach, I'm a Pet, will stay with the team and uh, apparently likes this roster's future. I'm excited to see what happens. Let's just not forget, guys, for the first time ever, Optic will actually have to participate in the European side of Pro League. Last year, they had that European squad who was still a pretty powerful lineup, and they did quite well in the North American side, but this is the first year they're going to be enforced. Because they have a European roster, they must play in the European side of things. So best of luck to them. And again, remember, this is their first time actually together as a full team, and we have Pro League starting very, very shortly. It could be a rough start for them, but I'm very excited to see what happens. On top of this, guys, I want to end today's episode with two short stories. I'll be touching on the Soar Gaming story in the future as well because there is so much backstory to this to this actual next thing we're going to tell you guys about. Soar Gaming and their former roster have now been signed to Team Dignitas, and it does mean for the first time ever, Dignitas will actually participate with this roster in the North American side of Pro League. I don't want to say an underwhelming roster, but definitely a questionable roster going forward, guys. Are these Soar people? Are these Soar guys? They were actually in relegation matches for last season in the North American side. I don't expect too much improvement out of them, but congratulations on being signed and hopefully being paid what they deserve. And again, I'll be talking about this in tomorrow's episode as well in full detail because the background story of that is quite shocking. Now, very lastly, guys, we do have Rubino also joining a new team. Of course, himself also being a former North player. I feel like all the former North players from 2016 and 2017 are almost gone now. It's kind of crazy to see, but Rubino has now been signed to Team Heroic and definitely a good replacement over there for the youngster Easy Tag. Easy Tag had a rough going. If you guys remember, he's actually a Danish player who was slowly on the rise over there. Started out with Trick Gaming or Trick Esport, then went to Heroic right away. A huge step up. Uh, we kind of see the, the, the trail of teams in the Danish Seen. It goes to Strauss, Heroic, and Tricked. He was climbing the ladder very slowly and apparently kind of rushed his spot there. So Rubino will now join up with Team Heroic, guys. A great pickup for them, and I cannot wait to see what happens for the future of all these roster changes. I'll be having a big episode tomorrow as well, because as you guys know, there's still so many free agents out there. So expect a pack episode tomorrow. As always, though, I hope you guys all enjoy. If you guys did, leave a comment down below. I will see you all tomorrow, and uh, what a day. Okay, goodbye, guys. <laughs>